The fallout from SVB's collapse is causing a cash crunch in the financial system, which could possibly lead to a wave of M&A activity across the tech sector. Christina Partzinevelis joins us now with that story. Christina. Well, there's a desperation right now for cash among smaller tech firms now that they're dealing with a more constrained financial environment post-SVB fallout. And that could mean two scenarios. The first one, more M&A activity. So think smaller tech firms. And I want to stick with the public ones, like uh, what you're seeing on your screen, Pager Duty, Twilio, Atlassian, because they rely on small to medium-sized businesses for their products. So if customers are cutting back, it doesn't bode well for their bottom lines. GitLab, for example, earlier this week warned that customer cost cuts were hurting GitLab's ability to expand. And you can see on your screen, the stock plunged on Monday. So according to Morgan Stanley, software names contribute 16% of the outstanding leverage loan market, by far the largest share of any subsector. That means credit type tightening may prompt a rethink of their current market caps if public or their valuations if private, all while the cash balances of S&P 500 companies remain high. And, you know, there's only so much you can do with dividends and buy box, m making it an opportune time to snap up smaller players. Wedbush predicts this current financial weakness will spur a 20% uptick in M&A activity within technology. And then here's scenario two, IPOs could come to market quicker. But expect IPO valuations to come down from the pandemic era. I have one example. Payment processing firm Stripe's latest round of funding showed its valuation is down by almost half from its peak of $95 billion two years ago. So investors probably would shun IPOs lacking a credible, credible path to profitability. Yes, that's likely, although I will say from past cycles when things were very tough in the markets and you had companies that were going public because they had to, not because they want to, it can mean it's actually a good deal for investors, whereas a lot of IPOs, when they come out too expensive, are a bad deal. So who knows? Yeah. We just need one to, to break the it, ice. That's exactly it. So you're looking at the positive side for investors, also positive for maybe some of these uh, larger tech or medium size. I don't have to focus on large tech firms that want to buy some of these startups, late stage startups that choose not to go public. Hey, these valuations will come down. Maybe they won't go to the public markets. Maybe a big public guy will come in and snap it up. So, mm -hmm. yes, it's bringing things back down to reality and all of us could benefit if we get in early.